Here are just some basic drills to help get the arms straight on pirouettes, which will increase the consistency, obviously, as well as the look of the pirouette. So we're gonna start off, get in partners, and you do handstand holds. And as the athlete is being spotted, that way you can have several of this station going and you can be correcting the body shape, as in press your ribs in, create more of a hump in your back, flatten your hip flexors, Straighten your arms, head is neutral. All the way up to the quads burning, calf muscles burning, and a complete extension on the toes. From there, you can go to the one arm hip touches, and this is just to learn how to transfer your weight without any arm bend. So as they lift the arm to go to the other hip, they learn to extend in that shoulder and transfer the weight. Watch the hips so that they don't pike at the hips. Jack, can you do a little bit of a slant in your hips that's wrong? Yeah, you don't wanna let the, the obliques collapse when you go from side to side. Okay, then you can take it from there to a touch your hip half pirouette. They lift up the arm. They feel that they pirouette on that one arm. Go ahead and step down and we'll do it one more time. This is such a purposeful drill because when an athlete goes to pirouette, if they don't keep pressure on that first arm, they're not gonna be able to turn and transfer the weight and then put it down and come back. One more. Could even have them do a hold with the arm on their hip because they wanna rotate through the shoulder, complete half turn before they put the hand back on the bar. Okay. Next, then you start doing it by on their own. And this handstand hold needs to be a handstand hold. Give Jetta a try or two here. She's usually really good at showing a handstand hold. Not just a kick up, put your feet together and step down, a handstand hold. This will make them more and more comfortable doing the handstand on top of the bars in a hold position and not being afraid they're gonna tip over. Then from there, we do a handstand half pirouette. Trying again, always to finish in a handstand hold. You can do a couple each time, Jet. Coaching comments again are to keep the arms completely straight even when they lift up to turn. The, the arm that pirouettes should stay straight just like the one on the bar. And you can see she's gonna do a variation of inside pirouettes for any kind of low bar or high bar. And then of course the blind change, which would be for your pirouettes. That was very good. And they're gonna to rush to step down. So what you wanna do is you wanna have them work on extension in the shoulders, flattening the hips, pushing, pushing as tall as they can. As if there's a little hoop in the ceiling, like a hula hoop. And they have to keep their feet up in there as they do the pirouette and once in a while, they absolutely should fall back the other way. Once they have control of this, very good. Then we go on to the full pirouette. This is kind of like our bar complex before we start our bar basics on the bars. We do this every single bar workout. With the emphasis so much on pirouettes to get connection value at JO and Elite, uh, pirouettes are just, just what you have to do. Now, when they're getting stuck and you see them uh, tilted to one side, it's usually because they are not pushed out enough on the pirouette arm. The arm that stays on the bar needs to stay up in the ear, completely pushed out. And then the verbiage a lot of times is to spin your hips. The slower the hips go, the more risk you take of tilting back and forth. Up and spin one, two. Try it again. Not getting enough pressure on the bar and control in the handstand. Control, control. Still a little short. You can see this would be like on bars if she was finishing the pirouette on the way down, which at the elite level can cost you up to five tenths. That was much better. Okay, then we take it from a back extension roll. And we do a lot of back extension roll work because I feel like it's the toe handstand, the stalder, the clear hip, all of them. So back extension roll, lock arm. Absolute, absolute lock arm to handstand. Turn around, do one more and try to lock out and press your hips and hold the handstand. Lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out. Yes, 
So there is no option on arms on bars. Your arms are locked from casting to kipping to pirouetting, catching release moves. It's all about lock arm. Yes. Now once they master this, you add the half pirouette. And as you can see, we have a line on the floor. So I'm going to have Jet try to actually pirouette down the line as if it's the bar. All right, we'll have her do it again. She's a little too far. They learn to look at the bar. They learn to push on it. The line is the simul similarity of the bar. Push down and hold. Yes, yes. Okay, now we'll go on to the full pirouette. Okay, see, obviously she would be falling on the pirouette because of the way that was done. Rise taller, get the arms by the ears. Push the toes into that hula hoop at the top and keep them there, keep them there, keep them there. That was excellent. That's what we're trying to achieve. All right, a couple more. Um, going into the back extension roll, um, I prefer perfectly straight legs because they have to work the body shape more um, when they tuck. They can work on the momentum coming more from the knee kick up versus the body shape chest in. Let's watch again through the hoop, Jetter, through the hoop. Get the toes up there in the small hula hoop. Find that spot. Leave them there. Leave them there. All right, much better. 